What's going on guys? <laughs> One love out to everybody. Quick video here, a quick hack video. If you broke your foam roller, you're about to do some rolling or you did some rolling and the center piece of it, the little plastic piece inside just crumbled apart, a flat tire. So while you're rolling, you just went bow, everything just fell out. That's what happened to me, right? So here's a quick hack for you. If you don't want to buy a foam roller right away or you cannot get to a foam roller, you can make your own. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna get a sock, right? Like a dress socks, not an ankle socks. One of the long ones that go up to your knee, right? And you're gonna get, let me see, I'm gonna use four, four balls here, right? You can use tennis ball or a handball. I'm gonna use, actually, I'm gonna use five, okay? So you can use either a tennis ball or a handball. Any ball that's kind of have a, a solid feeling to it, okay? And you just fill the sock. So you got the sock here. And you just fill each sock until you have five in there. So one sock's down. One sock's down. One ball down. Yeah. Two ball. Three. I'm going to go all the way down to the flush at the bottom. Alright? Just like so. That's three. Four. And five. You can even go six if you want to. I mean, it depends. You want to be like almost the same size as your original one, right? So you don't want to use like three can be too short. So you want to make that at least as the length of the original foam roller, right? So that's, I got five in there. And all you're going to do is just tie it tight at the top, right? You're going to bring it all the way down until it's like have a very, um, what do you call it now? Stiff. Very stiff at the end of it to where there's no, like, you can't really move the ball inside. So just go all the way down until it's tight. Okay, you're going to tie it at the tip, just like so. That's a regular knot. Bam, just like so, and there you go. And you got your foam roller. Actually, this works pretty good, just as good as the original foam roller, actually. And you just use it like you would regularly use a foam roller. Go on your hip, just like so. And just roll back and forward. And there you go, and you got your foam roller there. Actually... I was thinking about buying a foam roller again to go out and get one, but I mean, I already have this here, so this this works just as well, okay? And you can do everything that the foam roller can do. You can go all the way up to your lower back, just like you go all the way up to your upper, as far as you can, come back down. You can hit where the sciatica nerve is, just like so. The glutes. And that's it. This works excellent. This is just as good as a foam roller. Could be even better. All right. And like I said, you want to put at least five ball in there because you want to be at the, the length of the original foam roller so you can get every single area. Okay. If it's too little bit of ball in there, then it's not going to get every single area that you want to get. And also, the next thing I usually do, I usually use that like one ball to target a, a specific area. You can use that one tennis ball and just kind of like easy on it. You don't want to go too deep down because then you make yourself very very sore the next day. So you want to be gentle with this. And I usually do this foam rolling after I finish a workout. Right? At least every single workout. Kind of loosen up that section that the lactic acid would build up and if you don't kind of like press that out, get out the knots them, the next day oh you could get stiff on you. Right? So you want to just roll out everything. Get all the knots out. Like I said, this works very well. All you need is a dress socks. Five to six balls, as long as you want it to be. I would say five, because it gets every single area. The tennis ball here only hit one specific area. All right, so that's it, guys. Hopefully this works for you. This works excellent for me. You guys keep on kicking. One love out to everybody. And what's